In August 2019, Pakistan's Dar Hockey Academy toured hockey superpowers Holland and Belgium. Widely acknowledged as country's finest hockey nursery, Dar Academy was making its sixth tour to Europe in the last nine years. With one exception, the boys' age ranged from 16 to 22. The academy played 10 matches, nine in Holland and one in Belgium. The first six games in Holland were against the club sides of the Dutch league. Next, they figured in a six-team tournament. Almost all the sides in Holland fielded their first men's teams, including professionals, Dutch as well as from other countries. Three teams, FGC, Den Bosch and Tilburg, are in the Hoft class, the top tier of the Dutch league, the most competitive hockey competition in the world. It was a great honor for the academy that the European Hockey Federation posted the news on its official website titled Best Wishes to Dar Hockey Academy as they arrive in Europe. As always, the academy came at the MOP at sea in Vogt in Holland. First two matches were at the home ground. The hospitality of the MOP at sea was forgotten as the guests from Pakistan had a big win against them. Den Bosch was also swept aside. On the invitation of Dar Academy, Dutch hockey legend Paul Legends, whose tally of 267 international goals remained a world record till overtaken by Sohel Abbas, traveled to Mop to watch this game. He spoke highly about Dar Academy. So how do you find the Dar Academy boys? Uh... Well, they played very well. So what are your views about the Dar Academy, what they're doing for Pakistan hockey. Well, that's very nice. I think that's uh, very good to play hockey and for education. For the next fixture, Dar Academy stepped out to play at GC at The Hague. Dar Academy again had an easy victory. There were many distinguished faces in the crowd. Mr. Ezaz Khan, Deputy Head of Mission Pakistan Embassy in Holland, graced the occasion. Also present were Dutch hockey legend Mark Tallison, Olympics and World Cup winner, and another distinguished Olympian and World Cupper, Martin van Grimbergen. Dar Academy was tested to the limit by Breda in the fourth game. Academy came from behind to emerge 3-2 victorious over a far more experienced opponent. At Boxtel, they had a resounding 4-0 success against a formidable map side. Now it was the time for the Belgian venture. The squad crossed the border to play KFC Dragons in Antwerp. Dragons had finished fourth in the National League this year and were the champions the previous season. It turned out to be thriller. Dar Academy led 3-0 into five minutes of the third quarter. The seasoned hosts, through two set-piece conversion, reduced the lead to the minimum. On a turnover, the Dar Academy lads scored to win the game 4-2. I think we learned a big lesson today. I think they were better than, your, than ours, to be honest, with building skills. It was really good. Some comments from the trainer of the biggest club of the country, which is the reigning world champion. Back in Holland, Dar Academy faced another mighty side in Tilburg at sea, whose head coach is double Olympic gold medalist Jeroen Dalmi. The Dutch stalwart is also the coach of the fast improving French national side. It was yet another memorable encounter. Tilburg surprised the Colts with two well-taken penalty corner goals in the first half. They added two more in the third quarter, four goals down with just 15 minutes left. The young lads of the academy displayed resilience way beyond their years and it was 2-4 with some time left. It could have been closer but the visitors could not utilize at least three good opportunities in the dying minutes. The spirited fight back drew applause from everyone. After first defeat in seven matches, it was tournament time. Mad Hart top tournament at Boxtel featured six teams. The town is home to more than 60 families of Pakistani expats and they attended the matches in good numbers. The Lahore based academy studied with players from different parts of Pakistan won both its pool games with ease 3 0 and 4 0. From the other pool, the host map had qualified for the final. Hence, it was a festive atmosphere on a bright Sunday afternoon with good sport for both the sides. Expat Pakistanis came with families carrying Pakistani flags along with a dhol beater. 
Pakistan's ambassador in Holland, Mr. Shujat Rator, came all the way from The Hague to witness the final. Dar Academy deservedly won the final with two goals to nil. Later, they were fatted to a lavish meal by the proud Pakistanis in Boxtel, who also rewarded players with cash and gifts. Dar Hockey Academy's president, Olympic gold medalist Taki Dar, expressed satisfaction. It was good to see Dar Hockey Academy winning nine out of ten matches on the European Tour, playing against the top tiers of Holland and Belgium. It was amazing to see them play a game after game against clubs like Dragoon and Tilburg and Breda on their home grounds. And this is all possible only because of Rob Lathuvas. If there's one man who has been part and parcel of Dar Hockey Academy and a brotherly figure, this was never possible. Uh, if he, Rob and his team were not there, people like Hans and Martin and uh, his wife Anna, they look after the boys like their own family and the two were planned in a perfect way starting with easy matches and moving towards the top clubs the boys have got load, loads of skill and that was appreciated by the top coaches of the top clubs in Europe and while we talk about this tour and the tours before, this cannot happen without the sponsors and uh, I have no words to praise and thank our sponsors for the blind faith in our work for the last 12 years they have with us in thick and thin and uh, the number has always grown.